I mean, they'll probably go over that. You don't want to take it out. Right? Yeah. So the faster you go, I'm going to remember that. Exactly. The faster you try it sometimes. The lower speed, one of those speed bumps. The faster you go, the less you feel it. Right. Because when you go slow, you get the whoop. But then you get the whoop and stop on it and spin your tires and try to throw them. <laughs> I dealt with them and Bill with them. Next week.
to have a hearing where we can present it to the public, uh, perhaps in a summary form, as you can well understand, <laughs> uh, if that would be all right. And I won't know the exact date, but sure. I'd like to well, prepare a summary and then perhaps uh, have, a, have a hearing or something like that, then we could just present it to the people, whether it could be just before one of these meetings or something like that. And maybe uh, if we have time to put together a quick PowerPoint for the town. So yeah, no, that's all that's helpful. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. yes. If so Denise will help with that. I mean, Dee can help with that part because I want a PowerPoint she's expert. Good. She's really good at it. I know she's a decent PowerPoint person, but I'm now stepping away. Yeah. So so I, I think an informational session would be very helpful. And then if the, the board wants to move forward with recommendations, then we'll do a public hearing. Right. So the informa even the information session would be hosted by the board, which is a yeah. Okay. So we'll let the existing board decide when that yeah. will be. Yeah. I just, uh, first I have to get the summary done and, and, and right. meet with um, Dee for the PowerPoint part. Yeah. And, uh, I think it would be helpful. We'll let you know as soon as we can pull that together. Do you think maybe September is a good time to do it? Let's pick If we can sneak it in the end of August, it would be yeah. good, but let's just see how fast we can move forward. Because yeah. I know everybody has other things going on. Yes. Well, and I know that Michael is hoping to get a, an ordinance over uh, here. Is that still on the docket? It is. For where would that be? Uh, the 20th. So, it would be after that. Transfer station ordinance. Oh, possible okay. amendment. Okay, oh, sorry. But, but those are those are my questions. So that's all I wanted to raise. Thank so you have nothing for us tonight. You're still in process. Right, exactly. Okay. But I just wanted to let you know the well, actual thank report you, is thank available you. and it's already been given. And I would ask that the report itself be given. Oh, where is the report? I thought there was I no report. It's it's the email. Email. Well, uh, Friday. Friday. Oh, goodness. This, this is a printed copy. Yeah, no, I don't really need a printed copy. I don't think you want a printed right. copy. Well, thank you. <laughs> so, oh. I just wanted to let you know, and as, I, as I say, a summary might be helpful because this is 47 pages. <laughs> <laughs> so the date on that was like 727. Yes. And we to take it out. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. I appreciate the time that you and your committee have given to this. and. I look forward to reading it, even though I won't be acting on it. It's still been very interesting. Thank you very much. Very much. All right. Uh, any other yes. community input? Okay. I'm trying to get her hand up, Lorraine, but she was quicker to put her hand up than I was. So. Oh. <laughs> we have some folks that need to go to some other things and then come back. Right. Suzanne. Oh, stand up, please. Oh, yeah. I don't stand up. I don't stand up. It has to be done. Right. Right. Well, it's, it should be done. So. On behalf of Denise and I, we wanted to say thank you for your service to the town, uh, especially as a chair. I mean, when you, before you became chair, you certainly did more than uh, all the rest of us anyways, but uh, <laughs> as soon as you became chair, you certainly did even more, and you continue to do more. Uh, and it hasn't gone unnoticed, so we want to say thank you. You will be missed, but uh, you will not go far, so that's so many stuff going on there, so please don't change it. Well, there you are. We thank you very much for your service. And all the department has wanted to come in. I, I don't know. Well, the fire chief is probably Denise. Oh, well, he's, no, he's gone, but he Mark was coming, but he probably didn't see you. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thanks, everybody. I really appreciate it. As you know, it's, as I think I've already said, it's sort of bittersweet, and there, but it is time. I personally need to not be here uh, under the kinds of stress and all those other kinds of things that are just not doing very much good these days. So that's the way it goes. But it has been, many parts of it have been satisfied. I don't know if I can say most of it. Many parts have been satisfied. <laughs> so thank you for this, and I appreciate it. All right, shall we go on? Uh, I think the town clerk's here. And, and she's going to... The tax collector. The tax collector. Uh, I would like to speak on the residents and the inventory. I think there's a lot of information on that besides the revenue, and I think we should keep them both. 
Oh, wow. okay. I thought okay. Someone was around the corner. I will just say, what information do you think we have gleaned from those taxes? Well, it, uh, the uh, residence tax tells you the people at 18 to 64, and the inventory tells you everybody in town who lives here. And you think those are the only ways that we could get that information? No, John? but so, it's accurate. But it's not used. It's not I know. Used. Five. That's I don't know why it shouldn't be. That's my opinion. Well. Plus we'll have the that discussion, and also just for by way of information, apparently there are only two towns in the state of New Hampshire that still do resident taxes. We are one of two. All right. Uh, department. I think it was Walpole. Ask Ask Andrea. She knows when she's here on the presentation. Yeah, she'll be here. Okay. Uh, department heads. <laughs> do you see? That might be a little long. At least she was coming back in half an hour. Oh, less than that. I'm here. I'm here until seven anyway. Hi, George. documents we would consider the proposal from Atlantic Recycling, the contract, the purchase order, and then the, the electric. So I had done the estimate based, if you remember, uh, electrical of 5,000. editorial comment to my favorite other board person. Um, you have the coffee the original day, right? Uh, I don't know. I was hoping that it, would, it was good. Uh, do we have it in there? Oh, Atlantic in there? Recycling? I, I know I could do it. I, yes, you did turn it once, but that we couldn't find it last week, so we were hoping that everything would be... I did not move anything from that file. Yeah, I'm not sure it's here. So I don't know where it would be. Um, George, is it in an email? George may have given it to us, and we may have walked away with individual copies of it. I think that might have been Yes. Yes, no, it's I, a, you absolutely uh, did. And we kind of, you want to go check? No, it's not in here. No, I know, because last week. Yeah, we, we took it. We, we made we, individual copies. Yeah. Yeah. You see, you should never give us it. <laughs> I know that's true for me, but apparently in this case it was also true for my colleagues. <clears throat> so we're looking at the electrical, we're looking at a contract proposal. And then is there a purchase order associated with it? Well, we're going to need a purchase order that we be good for it. We're going to need for us to be cement purchase. So I get lucky under our thing. Like that. I have a purchase order here, so I'll have to be. Oh, okay. So we're all at it. And know which way you want to go. Right. So this has to be done before you do your slab, or how, how does we this have to fit do in? You're doing the slab. You're doing the slab. We're doing the slab. That's going to be done for us when we get. That's going to be done for us then this time. Yeah, they'll be working. The electrical fits. This is the. This is the trade-in, so it's mm -hmm. not the... You didn't give us a copy of the contract, that was the information you gave us. So this is the financing. These are the financing figures. Mm -hmm. doesn't describe the bailer. <coughs> this is just... That's what you know, I don't under, understand. Well, it's not just the, the here, the bottom, we've got the bottom line. I'm just trying to figure out the best 
way to manage that. If you do a purchase order to Atlantic Recycle and cite the refurbished baler um, mm -hmm. as described in the meeting of two weeks ago, yeah. then he's actually going back to the the, the what, the contract proposal? The, the bailer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so at minimum, I guess what we need is a purchase order to Atlantic Recycle. So if you want to work on that, um, then we can begin. We'll need a purchase order for Mr. Electric for 4850. For Atlantic, yes, seventeen thousand seven hundred. Right. Seventeen. If you want to be, would you want to purchase order for the full amount? Then you want to do that. Purchase agreement. And you want to do that. Oh, I see. What you mean. Yes, we're not authorizing seventeen thousand seven hundred. No. So we are authorizing a rental agreement for. With the understanding of that, dependent upon funding from the town meeting. So I, there are two figures here. Dollar amount for the short the rent to own program. I think those have interest. Okay, but this, this is just a short term rental. This is the short term but to get us through next April. Okay. 
end, but is that applied to, uh, to the yes. purchase price? It doesn't no. indicate it here, so. No interest. Yeah. I remember that in the presentation. I just want to make sure this is exactly what we really are signing up for. That's all. <coughs> so what what the PO should say is, is it should be for three thousand four hundred dollars for four months of Baylor rental A L E L. I'm not done. With the understanding that an additional three months of rent at the end of the fifty per month will be paid from January through March. Eight hundred and fifty per month rental will be paid from January <coughs> through March. And a final payment pending approval at town meeting of eleven thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Point the town will fully own the bailer. If you could show that to Todd and have him initial that. So that's, that's the bottom line on your PO, $3,400. But the rest of that is, because there's no contract with holes or really for us to fill out, then we have to put it there, and he, mm -hmm. I would appreciate him signing off on that. But you will pay him in January, February, and March. Yes, that's also there. That, yeah, okay. Yeah. Even though it's not part of the original dollar amount, it is mean we are going to pay them, and then... Right, we're just... So Caroline, I mean, so the three thousand four hundred is FY eighteen dollars. So we're going to continue because I'll just say we, because the board, you know, even though it's a new budget year, we will be continuing those payments for the first three months. Will we need another purchase order? Will is it? What, we can't up this by the uh, by the rental amount because Tom will not like that. So we're just going to do FY18, and then come January, we'll, you will, somebody will need Then there will be a new set of paperwork. Yeah. However, it is workable if there is one contract that stipulates okay, how so the money maybe works work. through both years, then once that's signed, right. you know, I would still do, a, you know, there would still be payments in, in 19, but it could reference that same. All right, so we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll take care of this. And if that's sufficient for January through March, great. Todd really needs to sign off on that. Yes. And I'm going to say, otherwise, it has to come back to the board. It's that PO will be no one board. Is that really, is that really okay with that? <coughs> All right. So. Do you mind if I move it? Because I'm reading it. Because I want to read it anyway. So I moved purchase order 1387 to Atlantic Recycling Equipment for one reconditioned baler. Uh, one reconditioned baler rental for four, for four months, the understanding of an additional four months at, I'm going to start it again once I get this, at 850 a month. <coughs> So, uh, purchase order 1387 to Atlantic Recycling for one reconditioned failure rental at uh, $850 a month for four months for a total of $3,400. With the understanding that there will be an additional $850 per month rental from January to March, and with the understanding that there will be a final payment of $11,750.
at which point the town will own the bailiff. I just need that. Well, I have a second. Second. Second from Denise. Any other comments or questions? All right, so Todd will sign this. He doesn't sign it. No, it's not good. I will call him while I'm signing it. You're signing it. Oh, he doesn't have to sign it. I think it's an email. I'm ready to call the question. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, there's Bayer Rental. Thank you, Mike. Mr. Electric. All right, let's hand that to Mike. Well, you're going to have to do it regardless. So, if you're renting it. Oh, no, I mean, if he doesn't sign it. So I'm, I'm going to give you, so you can reference, or maybe say per attached. Maybe we'll get added to that per attached. Okay. So that's the first one. Okay, I'll move purchase order number 1388 to Mr. Electric for electrical work to. Uh, the um, bailer, um, per the attached email, is 727.18 in the amount of $4,850. Second. Any comments or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 I don't know why I looked at that. Let me ask any questions or comments because it's to you. <laughs> so it's really time for me to go. <laughs> Okay, there you go, George. Yeah, they should be attached, please. How do you want to work? One PO with the same and why they match for the pad? Is it the same vendor? Purchase order? I can probably get it to the same vendor. Purchase order is to a vendor. So talk to us about what you're trying to do, and then we'll sort of maybe figure it out. They told us the cement was going to be about 450 but we would have had to buy the wire mesh separately, and that was going to be about the $100 we were going to get a little bit of So you could do that with your credit card. Okay, so right. I'll do that part. Yeah. And, uh, and, the, and the lumber for the maple frame is going to be ready. You can do that with your credit card, too. So I'm going to put $500 for concrete. I've yeah. been concrete up to stay up with. Yes, you can make sure the box is in the budget. It's <laughs> You're authorized for that for up to five hundred. Motion for purchase out of fourteen twenty six heaven concrete or concrete and pad for the transfer station. $500. Any questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 And I'm just going to add for Bayer, just to make sure everybody's clear on that. Okay. There's the concrete. This is for the small bailer that I'm not going to be the PO, I guess. That he's buying it from us. And that explains the whole thing. So you want to go sale. Uh, oh, I see. When it's said and done. So you got a small one you can take out of whenever. Oh. So this is a out. quote to purchase the small Cramelot. That's a nice name for a bailer. Cramelot <laughs> Vertical Bailer from the town of Brawlsford, as is, for $500. Um, payment terms 30 days. So, Michael, do you want to accept that or not? I we authorize the sale of the. Cramalot, Cramalot Vertical Baler, uh, 
transportation to Atlanta Recycling for $500. Second. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions? I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, is it, you're not physically going to receive the 500 is it just going to be netting with the, with the other invoice? Sure. Or? He said he'd write you a check. So right oh, now, okay. I don't know what the procedure is. I don't know how that could work. So. Yeah, Caroline, is there, do you see an issue either way? There is no issue either way. However, if the rental were to go down by $500, that would reduce your outlay. And then there would be no income, and that's fine. It would give you more budget flexibility. But the net effect is the same. Yeah. It would be nice to have the revenue, actually, only because issues in that way would, would be natural for you to spend it. Either way. Yeah. All right, so I think it, it's on the floor, right, because you just asked the question. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other comments or questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right. The Slago Road COVID, I uh, mm -hmm. only way we had this weekend. But it did get into the second COVID, so we still got to do some work to clean that out. Yeah. I want to go with that first, but that was a lot of rain. Yes, yeah, so it, it did come up to the second COVID, but it did roll the road. We did put up before. So, oh my God, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I need to uh, open that up some more and see what's under there. We haven't actually had to do that yet. So Is that the before, boulder that you're referring to? That, oh, that, that, bottom COVID, that bottom part. If we can get that all open, that wide open, then that will be illuminated. But I have some other paper cards. Spot here on Main Street that's got to be fixed by the store. The hot dogs broke up in their spirit and they're bad. They're all nine yards. Whether I can fix that one and the sidewalk on Stockdale, that's not going to be a lot of dollars, but it's uh, Stockdale to about $600 to fix that sidewalk and Locust and Main is going to be, not Locust and Main, but Main and Third is going to be about $640. So we have spent just about 300000 We have 325000 With regard to the culvert, we have a culvert fund that has $10,000 in it. Mm -hmm. The board has agency to spend from that. So if, if we were to incur expenses during this fiscal year, we can pay for them this fiscal year with that culvert, uh, with that culvert fund. So do you, so the question then is, do you think it's going to go over $10,000? So, I haven't figured what to repair the wall part of it. And, and if we don't dig it up, if we get it opened up, we don't have to do that this year. We can look for it down in next year and then plan on it. According to have it looked at and see what we need for the wall to sure up the other side. Does that not go away? No. No. Nope. No, it doesn't go away. And I won't be here, but I right. would recommend that we continue to add to the culvert. But I want, I want to actually, you know, I want to see what, if, if the ceiling on it's okay, then there's no sense digging it up this year, and then we'll leave well enough long mm -hmm. by helping that up. Do you think the uh, activity of the last few weeks, once we've done what we've done, is, te yeah, t is telling us that we maybe have some time to defer? Uh, it's absolutely improved it. I mean, the water's going through now, the water didn't go up over the road with the amount of rain we had. Yeah. And it's going, and there's no build up of water now. It's like there was three or four feet always you know, coming over the right. And yeah. it's not, we've had to close the road because of it. And, and right? There's no water. There's no water going over it. So, but he's talking about two different projects. He's talking about David projects and he's talking about the culvert. The culvert money can only be used for culvert. Right. But, then, but right, we would have needed to. If, if, if we had to dig that road up, how can we get culvert and take that road? So oh, so that's paving the road. That's why. Yeah, well, you dig up the road is to fix the culvert? We have to fix the top back culvert, the granite. Oh, okay, I understand. That. Yeah, that's okay. why I was. That's why I didn't want to rush into, oh, yeah. you know, using the paving money up before we found right. out exactly what's going on. So, so just to be clear, if if the culvert reparation, including the final paving over, if we did that, can all be paid from the culvert fund, if there's ten thousand dollars, my question was, is is are we apt to go over that? Yeah. Then that yeah. would come into this. So, and depending what we run into. So, so then the so you might want to consider. That's why I, that's why if I there's want to no small project, so. right. If there's no rush, 
Now that we fixed, yeah, wait till next year and, and like we don't see. Do you think, no, if you think it's stable, it's worth time. The road right now is still stable. And now that the water's going through, instead of over and washing it out, you know, we'll do the ditch work on the side, which will divert the water away from that area, too. Yeah. So that'll help some of it. So, but I, I want to see if I can help. There's only about three feet that we haven't seen to that culvert. So right. if we can open that up and see what the top of that culvert looks like, and be able to clean the rest of that out, it's going to be free flowing. And, you know, but I want to see that first. And yeah. not knowing what, if that pile of sand is holding a part of the floor. Right. You know, so that's before I. That's why I didn't want to spend all the money. I wanted to ask before I went. You know, because there's so about 50 ton of hot tub we have to buy to do this. So what, what's want. your estimate for uh, for the two repairs that you want to do on the roads? The, the, things, that, the things that we want to fix is about 50 ton of hot tub. The total is going to be it's going to be under 10,000 for that. So. So. We still have 50. You got to rent the roller and all that. That's so. the only we're not going to need to rent the roller for these two smaller projects. Yeah. 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 So, oh, but the two smaller projects, what do you ask? Kind of and, and I'm looking at right now. The, the ones I want to do that are trip hazards and down here are uh, front of Starfield, it's less than 600. And then down here is third and main. It's I would say at least get those. So, what was the 10,000? I'm sorry, I thought that. A total, because I, I've had other. He's got a long list oh, of oh, 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 projects he wants long. to get done. Yeah. Right. Like so but if I get one. These is, you know. So with so the ten thousand is your long list, but it excludes these things that you would take well. Or they no, but this, this would include these. Okay. So this would be coming out of that ten thousand. Yeah. So But there's still gonna be enough to do the project that you wanted at the fire station. Yeah, the fire station one is only a couple thousand. I think you should defer the quarter if you think it's gonna go. You know. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a rational thing to do. Does the winter months affect the culvert at all? I mean, like the it's season? It's just rain and stuff. I mean, it's just rain. You drive over that. I mean, it's still, the road is still open. Mm -hmm. The water's flowing much better than it has been because we opened that bottom culvert. Mm -hmm. If we can open it more, we'll be much further ahead. Mm -hmm. But if you do that, you don't know what you're going to run into. So the cost of water. That's right. Okay. But if we don't have to dig it out. do it in the spring. And or next year. For next year. And you feel comfortable in that? Yeah, the wave, I mean, we got through this. This was a pretty hefty storm we got. Yeah. Oh, my God, yes. It we got a little bit of rain. We got a little bit of rain and some other yeah. things. It did go up. I mean, it did get into the second culvert over that. But now that the bottom one is flowing and the spill wave opened up all the way to the river, it eliminated a lot of the problem. Yeah. All right. So, so I, would, I would think that we would want to go back to the town for more money for that culvert fund anyway. Because, I mean, it's sort of good news, bad news. The bad news is we still have to do some repairs. But the good news is that, you know, the this one is going to be much less than anticipated, originally anticipated. And we are, we are we're working on some good news for the other one. And so this culprit fund may have its end someday. So that, you know, that... I don't think so. Because the are always going to be... No, there'll be, other there'll be another one that will spring up. I mean, it's not. No, like you, you get some cross culverts on Sligo Road. They're going to be fixed. That have been never so touched. That smaller culverts. Is right, is but in the good news is that we have a mechanism that we can save for these. Right. I guess it's a question whether they would just, if, if they're small enough, they could just sort of come out of your road maintenance. Right. I was thinking of the. Right. There's no major the culverts. Big under, culverts. And you, still have, you still have old millage. You got to that bridge and stuff. That's. That's fix. on the CIP. Right. That is on the CIP. Yeah, so. That's already mm, right. sort of thought through. All right, then I, I will retract my statement about Sunday you want to do that. So, I can, <laughs> you know, I didn't know if you wanted me to get one key open box for all these projects. Uh, uh, I can do them individually. So, the PO box is for what? For the, the hot talk. Okay, so I, I would say. One PO, yeah, one PO to Brox. Yeah. So that's all 50 tons that work? Yeah, we can all 50 tons of work. That's for your, that's for your whole list. Yeah, we can just say for various yeah. projects. Oh, my question, you don't have to take the receipt of all 50 ton, ton at once, do you? Oh, no, no. So you can do up to 50 We're going to get billed by him, and it's going to be over 200. That's what's going to happen. You know, and that's what I need. I just want to make sure we're not making him buy all 50 right now. No, I'm not buying it in advance. Using, so. And that right. PO will be used for the next up to the next one. As long as they can do you that way. Yeah. 
make sure we get two belt cuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They can refer to the same deal. Right. And I'm putting in at eighty dollars the time goes it was it was seventy one but they went up to ten percent. So it's
picked it up. And so it's still there at the top, at the bottom of the hill. The garden club asked me. So, if you, do you know uh, Cross Street? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there's that walkway. Oh, yeah, it's right near Michael's house. So there's that walkway. Well, apparently there's a pile of brush. Now there's a pile of mulch, too. The mulch stays. Okay. It's the brush. And if you're not sure, just give me a call. I have it next to the dumpster. It's taller than the dumpster. So Michael knows. Thank you. Next to my house. Cross Street. Cross Street, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, and then, like I said, when they do the spring cleanups and stuff like that, we have no problem going up and pick up the bag. Well, we appreciate it. And Jeff was going to do it, he just never, I guess he never got around to it, and then okay. it done. I'd like to put an ad of potential people working in Manchester. I think we okayed that. We just said, please work with Caroline, use okay. the free, use okay. the free thingies, yeah. If you're going to hire, you'd have to, you know, but to there's no, we don't yeah. know what's going to happen, so. Yeah, so you're just getting names, that's fine. All right, was there, um, so as long as you are here, there is something else, as Michael, Michael is good to point this out. So you were requesting a town email for the transfer station manager. Yes, right. Yeah. yeah, so it would be an alias of, like, transfer station managers. I think we use road for you, or road, road agent, agent or something. You know, like I, I road agent in my own. So, is there, uh, it costs $10 a month for us to do that. So, at this point, for the rest of this year, there's, we're talking about, like, that's like 40 bucks, so, which is less than, so I'll just ask for the consensus, unless there's a, okay. all right, so next year we'll have to add 120 to that one. Okay, they do come, they're helpful, I think, to have town emails. So. Especially we dealing with the, Yes, and he has an official, yeah, absolutely. All right, so uh, can you tell me if his name is Edward? Edward Walsh. Edward Walsh. Edward Walsh. Okay, so I will set him up with an email at gmail. I mean, not gmail, at alls and with an alias of some type, which you know, we did for you, but etc. etc. Okay. All right. Very good, thank you. I'm just going to briefly hand these off to you and tell you um, management discussion and analysis. Discussion and analysis. Interesting. <coughs> I'm really not familiar with it. Thank you so much. All right. Did you, are you, are you ready? I'm ready. Uh, is there any money left to spend? Well, he's probably just only one sign. Actually, I'm not going to spend any money tonight. Wonderful. And it's not, you haven't discovered anything new with the building? No. Um, the HVA system, yes. they actually started repairing, replacing the system today, I should say. And um, in my absence, I guess there was a conversation between my lieutenant and uh, Suzanne about the placement of the condenser unit. Apparently there are some issues with uh, how the line needs to be uh, connected from inside the building to outside the building, and they're not able to go over the existing beams within this, the uh, below your floor above my ceiling um, because one room, which is the uh, interview room, has a finished ceiling with uh, plywood because that was actually a second temporary tension room, so they don't have access to it. And plus, it makes it a lot harder to take the fire to do this. So they want to go straight out um, the ceiling and out the back wall of my office, which comes out in the front corner over here, looking at the building. So they want to put the condenser unit, you um, get that rock gravel area between the parking space and the elevator shaft. They want to put one new unit right there. So. Yeah, I took a look at it, see, you know. Just in the corner of that building is supposed to well, that corner is supposed to yeah, that corner. So it's a little more it is more visible, but it's you know it's well it's up with the town court here, seriously. Summer top of it. It's outside of it. It's outside. It's outside. Oh, they're all they're the compressor all is the big unit. The compressor's outside. outside. Yeah. And then the 
very handy far. to block their particles in the ceiling on the inside. Okay. I think it's far. Is it close to the parking area? Would it get covered with snow? Or it? Well, if they push the snow that, that direction, yes, yeah, but generally they don't. They usually push it that way yeah. and then them back that way. So you can put one of those flags or something. Yeah. You don't have any concern about them getting vandalized or anything being in the front like that? Or? No different than being back in the back. back. It's covered by the camera. I guess you can see it from the street. So. Yeah. I mean, it's just, we're, we're, it would be more susceptible to get should some of those control their vehicle out front there. Right. Like in the past. Yeah. Should we put a fence around it? Like a, just a... Take a look. Well, I don't you, think you it's could that... eventually, but I wouldn't recommend it. I don't think it's that vulnerable. I mean, I did go out, and, yeah. but I encourage you to look at it. I actually went out there and looked. Right. You will be fairly close to the building. Yeah. Okay. So you're, you're going to have five or six feet of that big riprap. Yeah. 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 I just want to say thank you for your service to the town. It certainly has been a pleasure uh, working with you and for you uh, these years. And uh, so, you know, certainly uh, you know, with your participation on the board and then your leadership on the board, I certainly think that the select board as a whole uh, is now looking at the needs of the town of homes, the future needs of the town of homes in a different manner than it has in the past. You know, I can certainly say that you know, I've worked with uh, many members of the select board over the years. And that uh, you know certainly uh, you know it's certainly has been an honor to work with. Well, thank you. Thank you. And you know the doors always open downstairs. <laughs> if you like to come back and visit, you can have a coffee or tea or something. Maybe I'll come to your coffee. <laughs> now they're after all your talk. After all this night. Okay. Uh, uh, the last thing we have, uh, I would like to the board and especially Suzanne to uh, help out. Uh, we present some awards to the department. Can I ask some questions before you do that? You may. Are we all set for tomorrow? As far as I know, we are. Okay. I've called you them both. Have you set them up? Okay. I've called them both. They'll be here uh, at their allotted time, 6.30 to 7.30. Okay. Are they going to use the bath or not? Neither one of them said that they were going to. Okay. So all right. what I figured I'd do is I'd set up a table in the corner with every committee okay. and set up chairs out, out here for everybody else on the table over there. In case they need to use that. I'll be here. Okay. Yeah, so tripod they, too, okay. in the, we had a tripod in the clinic. Yeah. If they have if they didn't bring their own yeah. for oh, for stand. Yeah. 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 I'll grab it. I need a tripod. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna use all that. Hopefully it'll be standing room only, but I hope so, but you never know. All right. Thank you. Gentlemen. What? Well, I mean Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. It's a good looking crew. It's the beards. That's <laughs> right. All right, we'll start with Benjamin. Oh, come on. All right, Benjamin, you're getting your letter of commendation. This letter of commendation is awarded to you for your unwavering enthusiasm and support of the mission of the Rawlinson Police Department. Without hesitation or complaint, you have sacrificed much of your personal time to cover shifts when needed. Additionally, you have become a member of the Stratford County Accident Reconstruction Team, and most recently, uh, you've, come, you've signed on to become part of the County Drone Operations Team. And I have heard from the commander of the tactical team, Accident Reconstruction Team, mm -hmm. and that he's praised your work ethic and your enthusiasm. So congratulations on a job well done. You certainly are a, definitely an asset to the department. Thank you. I'd love to do it. Thank you. Thank you. Without hesitation, you begin to administer CPR 
He continued to do so for quite some time until his breathing impulse returned. The victim certainly would have succumbed to the overdose if not for your quick actions. You are hereby awarded the Department's Life Saving Award. Monday, July 2nd, 2018, you respond to an Oak Street residence for a medical assistance call. Upon your arrival, you find the victim not conscious, not breathing, and suffering from another overdose. Without hesitation, you begin to administer CPR and continue to do so for quite some time until his breathing impulse return. The victim certainly would have come to the overdose if not for your quick actions. You are hereby awarded the department's life saving award. motor vehicle activity arrests, and more importantly, your overall proactive activity has by far has surpassed all others. Anyone can have numbers statistically, but your numbers are derived from the quality of law enforcement procedures, thus reducing the chances of being challenged by the suspects, defendants, and the courts. Additionally, you took on additional responsibility becoming a department fire instructor, which includes handguns, rifles, and shotguns. You are the department's representative on the county SWAT team. And that team commander has repeatedly praised your initiative and your work ethic with the team. You have shown a remarkable sense of enthusiasm and approach to your chosen, chosen profession. Congratulations on a job well done. You are hereby awarded the Department's Officer of the Year Award for 2017. <laughs> Not an allowed 
activity. So now, who actually waived that? Would it be the select board waived that? I don't or know. We were not. We no. were not supposed to give permission. permission. Oh, okay. That's all right. Yeah. yeah. So that would be the Southeast Yeah. So it would be the oh. conservation commission via the right. whoever is holding the conservation easement, which in this case is Southeast Land Trust. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Terrific. There's always something to learn. Yeah, you're right, right? <laughs> you're always All right. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Increases that we've recently uh, provided to uh, our new transfer station to Ed, who's taken on, right. not solely the transfer station, right. Right. taken on that duty, and then the pay increase to George. Uh, I spoke with Caroline, and she said it would be good for the board to make clear when that is, and that it's always best to have it at a pay period. Right. So that pay period start would be the August 6th. So I would like the board to make a motion to provide those two increases as of effective, I guess, August 6th. I'll make a motion to have the pay increases effective August 6th for the transfer station manager and the road agent. Second. Very good. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Appreciate it. A town hall maintenance, the portico. So that we're yeah, keeping that on. That we're, we're keeping that on, though, because Caroline yeah. still has to, the dust has to settle on. Sure. The work that's going to happen with the compressor. <laughs> well, I emailed him again the other day. So, I mean, maybe traveling for work, right? you know, not a uh, on call. Uh, Correct. I mean, right. Yeah. You know, right. This isn't. I did. No, no, but I have to. Do <coughs> this is not respond. So, well, you know, so two things have to happen. We need to have some idea of what it would cost, but also we need to know yeah. what is going to be left in town hall maintenance once. Right. We move budget dollars from RPD to cover these um, the generator uh, right. maintenance and the compressor. So that my outbox. All right, we'll let you look at that. We'll just go on. Uh, Conservation Commission, the fund management. So, Michael, I think you've got some information to share to share uh, on that. Yeah, so, I mean, All right, well, we'll give you a It's not here. It's not, the outbox is So, yeah, I, I emailed. Um, the nice folks at Municipal Association, and lo and behold, the, the town treasurer is actually supposed to be managing, not managing, but actually dispersing um, the, let me read the email, probably easier. Oh, sure, that would be fine. It's short, so. Um, and isn't it frustrating when you bother to include the people uh, yeah. who want to keep that you, and then they only respond they to you? They only respond to you, yes. <laughs> I, mean, I was, you know, as, as I was doing it, I was like, oh. I know they're not going to respond to all of this, but anyways. It's easy um, to do by, by law, the treasurer has custody of the Conservation Commission fund monies and must pay out upon lawful order of the commission. Um, RSA 36A5 appropriations authorized. A town or city having established a Conservation Commission, which we did, uh, may appropriate money as deemed necessary for the purposes of this chapter. The whole or any part of the money so uh, appropriated in any year and any gifts or monies received pursuant to <coughs> RSA 36A4 may be placed in a conservation fund and allowed to accumulate from year to year. Money may be expended from said fund by, and they actually highlighted this, money may be expended from said fund by Conservation Commission for the purposes of this chapter without further approval of the town meeting. Uh, the town treasurer pursuant to RSA 4129 uh, shall have custody of all monies in the conservation fund and shall pay out the same only upon order of the Conservation Commission. The disbursement of the conservation fund shall be authorized by a majority of the conservation commission. Prior to the use of such funds for the purchase of any interest in real property or for any contribution to a qualified organization for the purchase of property interest, under RSA 36A4, subsection A, um, Roman 1, subsection B, the conservation commission shall hold a public hearing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at that, I'm laughing at the reference. Uh, with notice in accordance with another statute. Uh, and then the municipality that has adopted the provision of RSA 79.825, Roman 2, the specified percentage of the uh, interest chart. Uh, conservation Commission funds can be spent to further the purposes of the Conservation Commission statute. 
RSA chapter 30. So that was the first question was, who had, who, who was supposed to be dispersing these funds? Was it the commission themselves or the town treasurer? And we didn't know. So we found out. Okay, so it's the town treasurer after per, uh, per authorization of a majority vote of the conservation. Yeah. So now we know that. So we should relay that to both the, the CONCOM and the town treasurer. Um, have the conservation commission funds can be spent to further the, so the next question was sorry, can, what can they spend yeah, the money on? Exactly. In, in a nutshell, I, I can read the entire email, but in a statutory reference again, but basically it said that they are allowed to hire consultants. Um, the commission generally has authority to engage in activities that assist in the proper utilization and protection of natural resources in fulfilling these duties. The commission may hire consultants to engage consultants. Or engage consultants, sorry. So, as long as part of the stated purpose of hiring, like, what's the team? Plan New Hampshire, or what are they called? Plan New Hampshire. Plan New Hampshire. Oh, I, I just could, I didn't remember their, kind of remember their name. So, for the sake of argument, if, they, if the town wanted to hire them, and part of the contract was to preserve, um, protect conservation land, or to incorporate more conservation land, <coughs> then yeah, the, the, the municipal association says that it's lawful for them to, to help pay for property costs, so, or pay the costs. And I forwarded the email to all of you. Okay. Just so, you know to, yeah, uh, sure. Of course, thank you for doing that. Sure. So how do we communicate this then? How do we, what would you suggest? Send an email to um, put an email together um, to the treasurer and to the comp com. Okay, sounds good. They have a yep. uh, an email, so they can um, they submit their request for payment to be made, and he can't refuse it. He has to sign it, and he long has the to majority, do it. Long as the majority of the just like for yeah. us, right. he, although at first they were a couple of pre. He, he rejected them. He rejected right. them. And this is like, you yes, can't right. do that. You can't do that. Right. However, right. he probably needs to be put on that account because I doubt if he is on it. Well, that's the other thing, too, so we need to make sure that... that the one, the checking right. account. Yeah. Because yeah, he, he is just... getting the savings account, but now he'll yeah, have to be right. on the checking as well yeah. and write that check. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's my interpretation yeah, as that well. That would be mine, too. I just want to sure you can't refuse them. And just so, as long as they have their vote in the order. Yeah, yeah, it has to be a majority of the, right. of the commission, so. Um, the email trigger is on Hong Kong. I think what I will do is I will forward the email from uh, mm -hmm. the one inquiries yeah. with a little explanation. That sounds yeah. good. Perfect. And it's, it's, it's not it's your words, it's there. Well, yeah. 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 You don't have to regurgitate it all. Yeah. Exactly. Michael, could you fold me then? Sure. Well? I'll do right now before I forget. So you can have it for the minutes and you got it. Mm -hmm. That's all I have for that. Unless... All right. Well, that's a job well done. Thank you. Okay, transfer station, I think that's there just to remind us. I forwarded you all um, edits uh, earlier today uh, around 1.30. Um, so when do we need to get this out in order to make the... So we can, we can publish it, the date for the ordinance, yeah. and then say the materials will be available by such and such date if they're yeah. not going to make it. So that's... I mean, we can... Um, you have not seen them yet tonight, I get that. So mm -hmm. please might take it up next week. I didn't brief. see them either. I didn't that just email. So. No worries. Yeah. So I, I will tell you, so words. basically um, the, the one thing we were hold, uh, was held up on was the um, transferability of, of the sticker, right? Mm -hmm. So to buy a new card, you have to get a new sticker. I suggested, you don't have to go along with this, that um, yes, you, you can transfer vehicle loans is still work, it's registered to the, to the same person, same names, mm -hmm. it's the same people, um, and it's a five dollar fee of transfer mm -hmm. for administrative costs. Mm -hmm. Did you really have to get another sticker? Yeah. Yeah. They'll give you physically you can't take it on and put it on another yeah. Yeah. Not easily. Not easily, no. So okay. that's all I was all right. saying. Okay. So Sounds good. We have it it's been shared so you can see it. Okay, I'll put it tonight. Okay. Um thank you.
And non spoken policy, again, that's there just as a. Hold and grab everything out. Yeah. Do you want me to put it? There's a. Do you want me to put it on hold, or what would you like? I think we should make it that list of the transfer station. Yeah, maybe yeah. stick it up under transfer, just so. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Hmm. Anything to say about recreation? Well, Actually, I'm glad you're here. Because there was stuff in there, and I said, you know, if Denise hasn't seen them, I, I, I don't want to sign them. I have, I, I have seen and been, and know about all of these. Okay, good. So when time comes, then yeah. So what I know about dollars, I believe all of these were part of this. I, I got a little worried when I saw all these POs, but I think it's something we had already approved, and so it was part of the budget that that was telling you about previously. So yes, I am aware of all of these here. Okay. So it's Scott Gordon. All right, we have a request for disbursement for Kelly Anderson for one hundred dollars and seventy-five cents. It was um, a rainy day, movie day, teen camp. Yeah. So I'll take that as a move, as a, a motion. motion sure. And second. You want to second that. Okay. So any questions or comments? All in favor, say aye. 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 And this is a, a PO 1476 um, for a quantity of 11 water country tickets online. This is what I talked to you about. We got a big discount yes, the on discount. it when we did it on her credit card. Mm -hmm. And so the total on that is 339.89. Uh, this is to oh, the director of Team Camp. Sorry, is that a second? I'll second. I think that was a, did you get the number? Uh, 1476-339.89. 32 dollars and to put it aside until you can clarify yeah yeah um just because well, the requested amount is 342.88 but then the total due is 32.99 that was asked for one ticket Oh, maybe that was for. Oh, maybe that was for her. One, ten teens and one counselor. This PO should cover it. If it doesn't cover it, then we'll have to do it again next week. Though. So let's just do this, and then we'll question this one. I'm going to write a note on that. Um, the next one is PO one four eight two. Catherine Nuts. Eight teen camp tickets for Fun Town Splash Town. Seven teens and one counselor. $312 is the price on that. So, uh, I have a question. Yeah. So, it's, these are reimbursements, so I just wonder why. I mean, it's okay that they're on a purchase. It, they have to be on something. I think it was the value. It's over $300. Disbursements yeah. can be for, for anything. Right. Oh, okay. Maybe. There is no. Okay. Because they're going to require, <coughs> they require us to look at them. Okay. So, as long as they require us to look at them, they don't need, yeah. they don't, they don't need a there's no upper limit. Okay. So whether it's a PO or in this case, it's actually is a reimbursement. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't think it makes any difference because either way, we're just saying yes, it's okay. Yep. So, yep. so I just will tell that comment. going forward. All right. Okay. So I think we had a motion and a second. Yep. 
Michael Virginia. Okay. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay, see this one they did it, they did both. So I will tell them they don't have to do that going forward. <coughs> This is the one with the split one that we were talking about. This is um, Canopy Lake, a reimbursement for Kelly Anderson for $238. This is a teen camp at Canopy Lake Park. So for $238. Okay. And the other one is for Calvary. Let's do one. one. Okay. Yeah, let's do one. So, so is it just it's a request for disbursement to yeah. a motion uh, to disperse. Like, okay. I get a. Motion and a second for the two hundred thirty-eight dollars. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, and the other one is for Catherine Lutz, and this is for uh, Team Camp for Kennedy Lake Park. And again, they split it so they wouldn't have each other's too much on their credit cards. So that one is for two hundred and seventy-two dollars. Request for disbursement. Yes. A second. All, right. uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 And these two equal this PI will so just put it here. They go PO and this, so I will talk to They probably thought it was a dollar amount issue. And that's all. That's it? Okay. Yeah. Correct. So all it's right. going well and it, you know they're um, they're kind of winding down, which is you know, you're yeah. good. So. And the team camp ends a week earlier, right? Yes, it so does. Like, yeah, yeah. And so this when the these disbursements is all part of their their price. They knew they counted that in with the teens because they always were on the trip three days a week. You know, <coughs> versus the other ones weren't always on the trip. Okay. So, and that was part of their their uh, their budget, their their um, price that they paid in our budget. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, so transfer station post closure report. This is still sort of like a sort of damage place. It's still it's hanging over our heads. And Caroline needs a board member to work with her on this. So I don't know which of you would like to offer to help with that. Is that some money? Well, the store will go on my head. Uh, <laughs> the post closure report uh, with the transfer station. Okay. okay. Uh, Paul's integrity, that's here because we're still waiting for somebody to get hold of the conditions so that we can sort of weigh that in front of them. So it's just there for that. So we'll it up. And we'll table the visioning right now as well because I don't have anything to say. The transition plan, uh, the transition is not completed at the end of today. So, <laughs> so I, I, unless there's something to say about how you want to go forward, we'll just, we'll, we'll just let that be. Um, in which case, we are town administration standing items, and what are our upcoming activities and updates for members? Like any for you? Uh, yeah, I see that. Besides that, no. Um, uh, tomorrow night is the um, public hearing for the proposal of the new transfer station here at the uh, town please, comp please, I'm sorry, please. police station and or police administration building. They have two of the people um, who are uh, submitted bids with their proposals. I'm going to speak. One is at 6.30 and one is at 7.30. And we will be taking questions and comments at the time. So do you know if anybody's coming to tape this? Do you know, guys? Unless the t I'm taping, but I don't know if the town is taping or not. Spoke at 7:30. Public was invited, and that's that's I mean, just a record. Was advertised the public hearing about. So I did that because that's what I thought it was. So you're going to need to take comments from the public. Well, we are going to take comments from the public. It's just a question of. Right. But there's no actual. Well, it, it, yeah. Yeah. So I, I, that's that's my opinion. Is that we just say that the meeting took place. Public okay. was here. They had the opportunity to make comments, ask questions, yep. blah blah blah, and, and yep. there'll be a tape record of it. Well, they said that you're going to have some here, so if we don't have a hard one. Yeah, whoever. Yeah. 
can set this thing up. I'll be here to watch to listen. So. Okay. I think you're free. I think you don't, we don't need you. I think it's what I'm free. Right. Okay. All right. So if we have one taping, which you're going to post, right? Gets on my site, on yeah. Can we have a copy of it toast on town, town website? None of the others are, but yeah. I mean, just because I, I wasn't sure if we were going to, how we had to do that. So if we could have a copy of yours and have it tape, uh, put it on the town website. I'll ask Vern because he's the one that Vern's does all the one of that. Vern's the one that does it. Vern's okay. <laughs> the one that does all of the putting on. So. Okay. Oh, if you're going to be here, do you want to do that? Sure. I don't. Okay, but see, if, if we have someone to do it, then we won't need it, but if not, so. So, um, we will have our committee members here as well, um, and the chief and his contact with the people to come, so. Yeah, so my, here's just my understanding, mm -hmm. public hearing, public whatever. Public hearing is when there is something, a proposal that is going to be voted on by us, and we want to get input from the public before we have our vote. And so, therefore, we are. But isn't that what we're doing? No, there's no. There's no proposal. There's no proposal. Well, like, no, but there's going to be a proposal probably. You will probably have, have another public hearing. Public hearing. So you then there'll be another one. The select board, so the select board will have a public hearing. 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 This is the this is committee that's having a public hearing. Doing information. Well, no, it's it's informational. Right. Right. Well, it went up as a public hearing, so I have to say it's a public hearing. You know, but I understand what you're saying. Nonetheless, you can just clarify tomorrow night, and we're going to hear some. Yeah. Comments because yes. people, if they have questions, I'm certainly not going to stop them from asking a question. No, or absolutely hearing, not. You know? I, so I think that's okay. yeah. absolutely appropriate. We yeah. want as much input as possible from right. as many people okay. as possible. It's just that there's no subsequent vote that's going to take not place. Not after this one, no. Right. Okay. At but that point, there will be. At some point, there will be presumably a proposal with a dollar amount, yep. and, and this is what's going to happen. And then you need a public and hearing. And then the board of selectmen need a public hearing. Yes. Not the committee. It's our, yeah, at yes. that point okay. it becomes ours. All right. The, the, so the, the committee will, will make a recommendation to the, to the select board. board. Correct. And then we'll the board we'll either agree decide. with that recommendation or not. And then yeah. if we do agree, then we'll hold public hearings on yeah. several of them, I would assume. Yeah, actually, I would, with yeah the, probably. A large dollar. Does that help? Is that one. Yes, I'm clear now. All right. yep. Anything else going on this week? This budget committee on Wednesday. Yeah, I don't need it. So, which is why I made my last day on Friday so that I could mm -hmm. continue to, to represent us. You saw the summary that I wrote, that, uh, as well as the, the budget. Yes. Yeah. And I did change the, but I did add to the budget provisions the dollar amounts for the two positions that we had already agreed to. Mm -hmm. Even though there's no expense associated with the I just I did change the budgets. Um, uh, and I knew there was something else. Tomorrow I'm meeting with. SRPC to talk about the road surface management system okay. and the upgrading thereof. So I will be there with George and I'll write my comments to okay. the board. Okay. And then you can decide what you want to do. There's going to be a price tag associated with this. And so I may spend a little bit of time afterwards with George. I don't know what it's going to say, but just to see if he has any money in his budget to carve out. Okay. All right? And then we can let you know that. I think otherwise that is all that I know of that's going on this week. So let's go to uh, other things. Well, we don't read them. We don't we read, read them. them. We sign them up. Right? We have to mm -hmm. sign them at a meeting. So you can have the minutes reflect that the board is signing the permits approved by our buildings. No, there was a there was a sticky note on it that I didn't see that said please hold for next week. If Tom needs more information, he received it. So it's all good. Well, that's what I just asked. Oh, I'm sorry. 
he, his true signature is at the end, although it's hard to, to recognize the true signature from the uh, scribble in front. Oh, okay. That's his, his signature. Okay. So as long as there are at least two yeah, really legible ones, like okay. yours and mine. Yeah. <laughs> I, in my haste last week, was assigning them all. Um, it was a sticky note that I missed. Oh, you assigned it too soon. Yes. And it said, please hold for next week. And I guess I did the second one. I need you because no one else signed it. Or fine, but I just crossed it. So it should be good now. trained him, I think, I thought he was. Oh, he's trained. Yeah, okay. He's so, trained us. That's right, he was trained. Everybody is going to be doing the same thing 
increases the defensibility, credence, and all that sort of stuff. So that's what we're working on. And I first I thought, well, it would be the stormwater committee that would be doing that, and I had asked you to point me to that. Mm -hmm. But it, we need. I, I'm now thinking that we need a shirt sleeve working group, and that group is going to be, if the board so agrees, Caroline, uh, me, Paul Casalt, who's been the elbow deep in all of this, right. and George, as we need him for mm -hmm. particular right. pieces of information. Is that does that work for you? Right. So we are work. So so again, Paul, Caroline, and I are meeting this Wednesday to shirt sleeves roll up the shirt sleeves and try to get the first two pages done and we'll right. come grade this for the mm -hmm. endangered species which will be part of it. Okay. So that's that's what's happening. We're supposed to be working on pages one and two from now through sometime in mid-August. Mid-August will be another meeting of the Seacoast Stormwater Coalition at which point they'll help us with the rest of it. Mm -hmm. And Caroline, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the board agrees that Caroline is the person to go to this. I won't be able to again because it's mm -hmm. just the time of year and it's my family reunion. I just can't. Mm -hmm. But Caroline, I'm bringing her up to speed on that. Mm -hmm. So if she goes, I think we'll be in good stead. Okay. She has it on her calendar. Um, she will. Yeah, she's been on. She's we've asked to put her on the mailing list, and okay. it's, it's the third, third Wednesday, I think. So, but you know, once this thing is submitted to the EPA. It then becomes our obligation to do what we say we are going to do. So at some point, the board will be able to look at this and, and, and you know, have a reaction mm -hmm. to this. And the stormwater committee, at that point, I think, exists to sort of help guide, to take, to, to sort of be there looking at this plan and making further recommendations about either priorities or this or that, so that the board doesn't have to get involved in. You know, can just listen to a recommendation as mm -hmm. opposed to trying to think about what to do. So it's it's a, it's a hopefully we've got it sort of contained. All right, so that's all I wanted to say about that. Okay. Um, New Hampshire um, Municipal Bank Bond. This is a second request. Please reply. Your auditors are performing an audit for our financial statement as of June thirtieth in connection with. Um, you're requested to confirm directly to them the correctness of the information listed below as of June 30th. I asked Caroline to take a look at this to make sure that these figures are correct. I don't see anything. I don't see anything. So let's put a note and say, Caroline, did you have a chance to, to check? So what they're asking is, is the principal outstanding as of June 30th, 2018 correct? And is our interest outstanding as of June 30th correct? So I know that we've made two payments to them. I think both before June 30th. So she's got the schedule, so she just needs to verify and then the board can sign it next week. Some splitting to do, I think. Okay, so I look. I did look through it. In, in I didn't. I didn't see. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see any problems. But it's, you know, it's here if board members also want to see. But everybody's amounts are under the <coughs> two hundred dollars, and okay. it also, you know, the state holds this that? and supplies that. No. Okay. <coughs> and if and if you ever get to a point where you think that it's sufficient for the board member who's authorizing these to just. Mm -hmm. Then you could just not have the like, yeah. It's just, it be your choice. Um, Townsend Energy, um, we'd like to thank you for your valid business and look forward to our opportunity to serve you in the upcoming year. This is a proposal um, for the town of Rollinsburg. Propane will be fixed at 2.199 per gallon. Number two, oil is 0.18 cents over our cost of the on the day of delivery on road diesel. 18 cents over our cost on the day of delivery, and service pricing is 110 per hour plus any parts used. All fuels under this contract will be deliverable between July 1st and April 30th. All deliveries are payable within 30 days. So that's a proposal. It seems mm -hmm. like. Uh, we can put a post-it note on it and check and see if the 
school district they is did. going to roll. Oh, they already they already they've received it. I'm, I'm okay. sorry, I didn't I didn't listen to the rest of the question. Okay. I don't. If they're going to go along with with towns, and it might make sense for us to. And they also have much more uh, like staff uh, capacity than we do, so they yeah. work on that. that. Yeah, they have received it, and it is the same. Has the school, has the school accepted their proposal from right. council? That's right. It's not the same proposal. It's, I mean, it's similar. Same dollar. Yeah. Uh, whatever the over wrap, whatever the. 18 cents. Or was it 18 cents over wrap? Okay. And then we'll sign it after that. Yeah. Um, this is the town of Rollinsford. This is a. Uh, is that from Tuba County? I have yes, this one, so I can just. Uh, so I'm sure we do this every year, and this is actually a letter that, you know, it's a stock letter that Tom has prepared for us right. that says that we are attesting the fact that we provided to them our financial statements right. that we believe they were, you know, that we're following acceptable uh, accounting and financial practices, that we have no knowledge of any fraud that has been perpetrated against the town, right. that we have no knowledge of any lawsuits that are pending. Uh, that we're not, uh, there are no regulatory agencies that, you know, have put a certain damn place of stuff right other than the closure, um, et cetera, et cetera. So that's kind of what it says. And so unless there is a dissension from the board, I will just sign that says, yes, that is how we manage the audit. I see that Caroline was also asked to sign this. All right. Was this? Yes, do make mm -hmm. That's all I have on that. Is that it? Mm -hmm. All right, there's nothing else. I, I, can, I just have a comment. We were given some information last week, and Mike wanted to look it over about some other additional changes in um, staff hours and Oh, the budget revision. Oh, yes. the budget revision, yeah. Um, are we going to take action sometime on that? Soon? <laughs> I, that that's really, I know. yeah. I mean, I, I made a recommendation <laughs> and I said where the money could come from. Mm -hmm. Right. Talk about it now if you want, sure. Right. I think I separated it. That That's still a little one where it's together. Because at, at last week's meeting, we did take a vote on the Baylor, George, and right. 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 Yes. And so the next day, I, I I separated those two proposals because we'd already agreed to one. And I kept the administrative support separate. So it was a little cleaner, actually, but I, I don't have that. Did you mail to us? Yes, I did. I, when I sent you the executive summary, I, I also included the, the, because I wasn't sure if I had sent it yet. I read the executive. I read we can the, do it next week, Mike. I just want to make sure that we, you know, don't, 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 drop don't forget ball. it. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. no, no, no. That's week. fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I just want to make sure it doesn't get lost. Yeah, so if you need another one, though, the, a one, because it's a little, again, it's a little bit cleaner. Would you mind to say I, I would not mind at all. Okay, that would be good. Yeah. So I read your um, the, the summary for the budget committee. Yes. But I and I don't remember if it was attached. Or I don't remember. There were three attachments. Okay. One was the budget again, only because right. I had I had uh, taken from some of those sources mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. money for George's line and Ed's line. Yeah. And then so I just sent you another copy. Okay. And then it was the executive summary or notes, whatever. And then I reset this budget revision because I split them apart and I thought it was just easier to take a look at it. So I've got a note. I'll send them out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I just want to tell you that. It doesn't get any better. I do. All right, well, can I ask for community input while you're thinking? Amen. Right. Is there any community input? I have some. 
Yes. Now, Kim went to the transfer station. Yes. Sorry? Kim went. Kim, yep. Yeah. We were cycles. And but before going, he asked about you know, the separation and stuff. And I said, I don't think anything's happened yet. And then he went and read what's written on the website about the transfer station. He said, boy, is that outdated. It talks about the joys of single stream. Single stream. Single stream. <laughs> Well, it's hard when you're in transition, yeah. Yeah, but I would think that people should know that at least, you know, changes are coming. We did. And we are separating glass. There's no, no mention of that anywhere. There's no town emails. No, no. Not on the website? No. No? no. I thought, what did I read it? They may have put something at the transfer station. No, but there was an email that I saw. Uh, no, I, I saw um, something that said something about we are doing, we are starting to do glass, oh, okay. but everything else is still the same. Okay. Like, no, Hardwood and, and glass. You saw but the Facebook I page. I don't remember where I saw it. But he tried, he looked all over that and then he looked at the emails that had come through. The town emails. Yeah. And he couldn't find it. I might just, I don't know. So when he went to the transfer station, he had to stop and pull all that. Changes at the transfer station on 710. Let's see. You have been paying attention. Uh, please be aware of new traffic patterns. Uh, each item, whether it be blah, 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 blah. Okay. I think That's that was just letting people know. Changes are coming. We're not sure what the going to be. Changes are coming. Right. right. So I'm just saying so. this is what it says. Change the transfer station. So yeah. So I think that was it. Yeah, so I, I, I'll try to, I'll draft something. I think I'll have time tomorrow. I'll draft something so we can put it on the, the news blog and uh, just, uh, I'll yeah, just. Maybe you should talk with Ed about, you know, when changes come, what's communicated. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anything else? All right, then by consensus, we are done. And All right. Again, thank you, board three.